It is finals day, and we are straight back into that Sumi Teoka and Soli Eriko, the BioGlen Bells Beach Longboard Classic. Matt Chinoski in the booth, joined by Berlin Alvarez Kimball, Japan taking on the USA. In the first WSL final there for Natsumi. As you look at that replay. All right, up number five. It's a beautiful 10 again, just, oh, she actually just jumped off. Beautiful 10, and then Soleil up in first wave, engaging that inside rail, some footwork. We saw some beautiful waves earlier, beautiful five, going up for the floater reform, connecting, using that rail to drive a little bit, seeing if it's going to give her anything more to work with. And this wave coming in is a 3.33. Nice. Committed five nearly slips off. This is the second wave. So a little mistake there for Teoka trying to get off to an early start there then. Yeah, just ca unfortunately, you know, just catching that inside rail, it's it got a little bit bumpier towards the end of the afternoon, and it's just a perfect canvas for them today. And Natsumi gliding into this one. High line, beautiful footwork there. It's got her through to the final. Same with those rail calves transitioning cleanly. Up into another nose ride, fluid footwork, relaxed hands. And here, middle of the board trim. She gets back on the tail, looks for the lip line, floats, makes it. The crowd go wild, shuffles forward just a little bit under the fulcrum of the rocker there. Just enough speed to get through this section into the bowl. Elegant footwork, forward trim there. Oh, and she goes down and thankfully avoids the rail to the head. Just mistiming that end section, but lovely work on the outside, Bella. Hirohisa, her dad, they'll be tuning in right now along with the Brohe, her brother, back in Taito. And she honed her skills on right-handers like this at Taito Breakall. Talk us through this. Oh, great five. Just really, again, back to the toes. Really completely... Oh, sorry. I just lost my breath there. Um, completely with conviction into those turns, into that floater, grabbing that rail, really actually pulling that rail up to get some speed so she could make it through that section. I guess the, the ones in front of the leading charge of the, the logging revolution. And here goes Sole, the student, hangs 10 there. Delicate footwork, treating this like a first point Malibu wall. Mid-section of the board, beautiful style as she flares the hips a little bit. Steps back under that tail, rolling that board around. Soft rolled bottom, stepping onto the tail there with a drop knee sweep. And elegantly just waiting for this section to hold up on the inside. Nice poise, good timing. Bit more of extended nose riding time there. Here, bit more critical there. Very similar to her home wave, Malibu, California. Sole looking strong on the first wave of conviction for her in this heat. She looked so comfortable surfing that wave. You can see everything that she did, how she transitioned, the way she surfed it. But this is the replay of Sole's epic wave. This was her 683 great surfing really committed nose rides. You notice she doesn't go to the bottom of the wave until she needs to set her line up again. She stood really high in that speed zone section, which is the top part of that. Nice, drawn-out nose rides. Again, that little arm lift to give her, you know, raise the, the board up back to a beautiful five and a ten. Just really locked in that rail. Comfortable back to a ten. Nice water spraying off. Absolutely flying. And looking at this inside section, and deciding, nope, that's it for my little campaign. I'm out. And Soleil's the type of surfer who will gain knowledge through repetition, having spent a lot of time down here. And it's similar waves. She'll be channeling the waves back home in California. And look at this technical nose riding here. Gets the full two, two feet over the nose, steps back from the hang 10 to here, driving in the middle, and enough insight just to, just to ride it out. Answering straight back, Tayoka. High line, beautiful, committed 10, long five in the middle of the wave. And she goes again, middle of the board there, steps back for caution, shuffles forward, gets low, grabs the rail. This is downtime, and the judges won't appreciate that, and they especially won't appreciate it when it cuts short, you jump off Bella. She definitely would be needing him and leaning into him for that support. You know, her talent is her talent. Absolutely, and here's Tayoka, nice rail carb there. A quick footwork, a 4-3-3 on her last, wasn't enough to go to the lead. And here, making her way over the boil, We're on the mid-tide, approaching the low. So this wave spreading out into the bowl. She can get through it. Ah, and she kicks out again. Uh, 11 and a half minutes are going to go quick. With you see Natsumi on a beautiful, swooping, nice turn. It sets up for a nice 
five and just again grabbing her rail and realizing this is just not going to open up for me what do i do doesn't see any more scoring potential behind her erico you see what she can capitalize needs to better a 3.33 to extend her lead she sees natsumi with poor wave selection she'll kick out and remain in priority you have to rely on those little experiences and here goes natsumi uh, gliding through this one, only needing a marginal 4-5-1 at this point by her standards. A little bit rattled so far, 8 minutes 50 remaining. Nice combinations now, some people are screaming, they think it's score already. Beautiful footwork there, you can see that yellow board standing out, beautiful hang 10. Smaller wave, but really good footwork, she eyes the lip line, oh my gosh, it goes down again. So, unfortunate ending there for Tayoka. I'd have to say that score was there. Um, it'll be interesting to see beautiful takeoff here. You can just see that beautiful offshore holding that wall up. Nice nose ride. Cutting back, looking for that wall to really give her the opportunity to showcase. Again, cutting back, trying to find something with a little bit more substance to the five. A little bit longer. Beautiful, beautiful ten. And there's that section she was looking and hunting for and just coming unstuck with that wind hitting the bottom of that board. The beginning of that wave, despite the falling off, was a 5-6-7. So she goes to the lead temporarily for Sole, up and riding now, needing a 4.5. So almost identical exchange. Now Sole needs this wave to count. Looks up for the inside track. Good footwork. Times it nicely on the nose. She gets the hang 10. Both feet over the nose. 10 toes clearly visible. Using the bowl of the wave back third now she'll step forward to the front third gets the nose critical the tail way back in the pocket really nice understanding of trim and poise as she works her way through graceful style super technical in the top third and a great cut down to finish and that's going to be a really nice score for Sole Erica how's that big breath she just took off that uh, when she kicked out here it comes oh lord here we go look at this beautiful take off in the pocket, very controlled, throwing all her weight into her turn, really utilizing that beautiful drop me to drive that speed to put her back into the white water. Lined up again, committed, adjusting her toes back to a very critical hang 10. Again, nice swooping of the transitions of the rails back to the white water. Taking a time up to critical spot 10 holding really really flying down this section again nice little weave utilizing the front part and then the five just locked absolutely in with a gorgeous cut back that is going to i'm really excited to see what that's going to drop for her yeah tremendous surfing there from erico look at that hang 10 but i think it's the work after this that cap captivates me whether or not the judges appreciate the subtleties here she's just really deep and performing everything in that arc of the pocket. Really difficult to do. It's all about feeling, connecting with the board. You just see those, that, that board elevating slightly, the whitewash holding the tail in. And here she goes, the Japanese competitor, knifing into this one. Stays high on the wave. She's going to give it everything. Nice five to get things started. Delicate footwork. Sees the boil. Goes up. And that one's not going to be it, unfortunately, with... The fourth time she's jumped off a wave, wave selection, really uh, a problem for Natsumi in this heat, Bellin. It is beautiful to watch. It's engaging. It's inspiring. And have a look at this beautiful, amazing room. Okay, so a last-ditch effort there for Natsumi. She's got the smile on the face, almost admitting defeat. She'll take this one, most likely, all the way through. A Japanese competitor, everyone's favorite surfer. She's just one of the most stoked surfers on tour. Oh! And uh, in typical Natsumi fashion, if she doesn't win, she always gets the Wipeout Award. She's an absolute hero, super brave, and gives her surfing everything. She's the winner of the BioGlen Bells Beach Longboard Classic. She takes it out with an excellent heat total of an 8 and a 933. The Malibu surfer, the reigning world champ, goes back-to-back -back here at Bells Beach, defeating Natsumi Taoka.